Mohammed from the U.S. Uh, my question is, uh, with uh, the place I live, so the masjid I, I usually go, uh, I noticed the uh, imam, actually, you know, after the prayer, he uh, made dua by raising hand. Then uh, during announcement for Ramadan, he recites uh, uh, dua for uh uh, what is it called, uh, Rajab, that what he said, it is an innovation. And also, they are announcing for Ramadan, there will be five odd nights, Qiyamul Lail, which we know, like, it, it could be any day of the last ten nights. So, uh, in my belief, they are following some innovation. So, my question is, uh, will I be sinful, or will that affect my prayer if I pray behind that Imam? Okay, I will answer inshallah. Muhammad from the U.S., he says, should I pray behind someone who commits a innovation? This is genetic, Muhammad, because any person who's a Muslim and his prayer is valid at the sight of Allah for himself, then his prayer as an imam is valid for me to pray behind him. And innovation is divided into two types. Innovation that takes someone out of the fold of Islam. So if someone uh, um, does not believe in the beautiful names and uh, attributes of Allah, if someone talks ill about something in Islam, if someone doesn't believe in uh, uh, the torment of the grave or in the sirat or does sh types of shirk, all of these are innovations. If he believes that you can invoke the dead in their graves and ask them for help and assistance. This is shirk. So such, such an innovation takes a person out of the fold of Islam and you cannot pray behind him. But if the innovation is making congregational dua after salah, throwing a maulid to the Prophet ﷺ without any shirk, or the likes of what you had uh, mentioned, then prayer behind them is valid, but it is not recommended. 